September 20th, and today was not a mistake-free day. I don't think I'm ever going to have a mistake-free day. So today I spent most of the day working on these rim joists after squaring the building and finishing up all the joists on the inside, all the 4x4 four four joists, uh, which wasn't easy. So I attached those to the rim joists and then it was pretty much free floating on the roof. I used a bunch of uh, ratchet straps, anchored to the frame, anchored to whatever I could, um, through windows, pulling, pushing, whatever was necessary to get the building square. Then, so the rim joist is two inches taller than the 4x4 four four joists to make room for the uh, two inches of insulation. And then first strips go on top of that and then plywood on top of that and then felt paper and then the roof. Um, problem was I cut one of those rim joists and I was really proud of myself because it met the 4x4s four perfectly and then I nailed it all together and then I realized it's supposed to be two inches taller than the 4x4 four four is not a perfect fit and it was a perfect fit and of course after making that mistake the last board that I had split when I was picking it up so I ran to Home Depot for one 10 foot 2 by 8 you get all the way back we made a run this morning to get insulation, to get SIP screws, to get fur strips. And I'm like, oh good, I have one sheet of insulation left, and at 30 bucks a sheet, I'll make good use of it. Uh, the problem is, I had one sheet of inch and a half, and everything I'm putting in the roof is two or three inches. So, there you go. Looks like I either have a skylight permanently in the bathroom, or I go all the way back to Home Depot for one more sheet. So that's September 19th, making progress. Part of my house won't get soaked tonight if it rains. And hopefully tomorrow I'll make a really good effort on having at least a plywood sheathed roof on the structure. But uh it's starting to feel a little bit like a house to me. That end is my bedroom. This end is the bathroom. Almost threw you on the ground. And then I turned off the record and when I threw it on the ground, or almost threw it on the ground. This end is the guest loft. That end is the kitchen and my loft. It's coming together, it's starting to actually feel like a structure I would recognize. So, that's it, September 19th, and back to Home Depot to spend another 30 bucks.